Alright, I just wanted to give a really, really quick demonstration video of why you may need to use single sideband mode when dealing with AM stations these days. This is 710 AM right here in the middle. You can see it's coming in really good and strong. And these yellow bands on each side of it are its HD radio signals. Now, the problem is AM signals extend on each side of its carrier for about... 5 to 10, actually the channel is 10 kilohertz wide, or no, channel's 20 kilohertz wide, and the carriers extend 5 kilohertz out each way. Uh, the problem is the HD radio carriers are on a 30 kilohertz channel and extend 5 kilohertz into adjacent subbands. So, the problem with this is it sounds horrible. Take a listen. That's pretty nasty. You can kind of hear a station in the background, but you hear a lot of noise. And that's just simply because that one sideband is contributing a whole bunch of noise to the adjacent sideband when the signal's demodulated. So what we can do is some, some systems have an exalted carrier mode where they do this very similar thing. You can do it with single sideband. In this case, I want to use the upper sideband of the of the station. So um, it's really hard. it takes a little bit to get this right because you know you have to get the frequency set just right or everything sounds off. So if I turn this up, it seems like it's going to make a liar out of me, and the signal's now going to go away. Yeah, I can see the carrier has just disappeared in just the last few few minutes. Uh, let me go up to 720. That'll be a good example. So if you listen to this, <clears throat> you can hear that high frequency static. And no matter what I set the width to, you I mean, you can kind of get more intelligibility by narrowing it, but it doesn't eliminate it. And of course, um, even if I cut out half the IF, the noise is still there because whatever, it's, these are just mirror images. Um, of course, now the signal's faded a little bit, so the HD radio data is faded out a little bit. But I can click on upper sideband mode, or this one's using lower. Okay, here you go. Yeah, now it's starting to come back. Now we see. So the noise is get coming back. It's noisy. I'll click LS. I'll click the lower sideband. Oh my gosh! Aside from a little bit of a pitch problem, which I can adjust out. Here we go. Now this is what it normally sounds like. And this is with the uh, lower sideband only. Of course, the, the width is different. Uh, this is set to 4.8 kilohertz, and that's set to, well, that's about the same thing. So yeah, big difference. Of course, if you click the upper sideband, you get all that noise. Um, so that's one little thing I've learned, I've had to do ever since I've gotten the RTL-SDR set up, is that HD radio is killing my AM reception, and the only way around it is to hope there's an empty sideband, or a clean sideband, and result to using single sideband mode. Um, which I didn't have to do that on AM, but that's... That's the way it goes, because these guys seem to be really pushing HD radio on us, whether we want it or not. And, uh, as you can see, that's... That's a pretty dirty, dirty signal. I mean, that's that's a 30 kilohertz wide AM signal, and... You know, they're they're not really supposed... Candles aren't supposed to be much more than, than 20 kilohertz wide. That's, that's just nasty and ugly, and... Really wish we didn't have that problem. But we do, so there's nothing. We just kind of have to live with it, I guess. All right, well, that's basically it.
um, I wanted to do that while the signal was propagating that way. And it's weird because I see it cut off here. So maybe some, maybe some stations are cutting off or maybe it's just fading out. I don't know. Maybe that's not actually HD radio, but it seems like it. Um, they're always there and whatnot. So anyway, uh, I'm getting out of here. Have a good one.